hate puppies. Really? <laughs> good podcast. I feel threatened. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Inside the Pallet House, the only podcast dedicated to solving first world problems and hopefully helping you figure out what you should be drinking this weekend. Brought to you by the one and only Screen Door Mortgage. But you haven't solved shit. I've solved getting mortgages. But none of the first world problems that you're talking about have been fucking solved. I the would... only podcast dedicated to talking about first world problems. Let's get okay. that. All right. Okay. Let's just shift it a little bit, right? To talking about first world problems. Yeah. We're not solving shit. Still brought to you by Screen Door Mortgage. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. I noticed you They're got you, awesome. you got a cup today, so you're like you're ecstatic too. Well, I also got a mortgage, so I'm ecstatic. I got a mortgage through them and it was probably the easiest damn part of the I've buying actually a house. had one, two, maybe three mortgages through them. Three mortgages through Screen Door Mortgage? Yeah. Every time working with Jimmy? For sure. Is, is Jimmy the best mortgage broker you've ever dealt with? Yeah, and I've put uh, friends onto him as well. I'm with you. It's a damn good mortgage. And this is not a plug. I'm just being legit with you, for oh, sure. No, I, I I, literally, I mean, I joke because he, yeah. he helps us out here, but I've used him for every mortgage I've ever had, every refinance I've ever had. Yeah. And I've worked with him at different places, and I've seen him specifically, like, do whatever it takes to make it go through whatever company he was with. The only thing that I've noticed that has changed is now that he owns Screen Door Mortgage, he has a lot more ability to do all the things that he always did. Yeah. But the things that never change, answering the phone, <laughs> sending you texts when like in the middle of the night when you're panicked about some nonsense, making making the document process the easiest damn thing you've ever dealt with, explaining things to you that are complicated that all of a sudden you walk out like totally know everything about this. Yeah, I don't really panic. No, you don't because you know it'll work out. I panic. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> How about this? He can work with all types of personalities. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> yes. He is excellent at that. He's a hustler, basically. He'll do whatever it takes. He'll get it done. Yeah. Every day I'm hustling, hustling. <laughs> I was listening down the way over. Got me amped up. <laughs> oh, you guys are going to be fired up for the deli tonight, then. Oh, I can't wait. It's ah. going to be It's going to be good. Now, fair warning, it's a seltzer. That's cool. You know me. I like that shit. I'm with you. I'm going to like this one a lot. I hope. I hope. We got the Duke and Ely in the house. So we've got a, we got an A-list crew. I'm pretty excited. Fucking rock stars. Yeah, we're here, man. And Brendan. Yeah, unfortunately. Well, I didn't <laughs> mention me. Yeah, yeah. I said we've got a good crew. Listeners tonight. are stuck with you. By default. Right. By default. But there's a reason that, that I, brought, I brought you two here tonight because we get to talk about scandals. A little scandals recap, which in years past, people should know this is uh, this is the boat trip that we go on every year where we we go out and these guys moor up boats. And like I said, they're they're men. They do stuff that's manly. And I've somehow weaseled my way in as uh, not quite on their level, but uh, pulled it off. Pretty excited. The Duke was able to weasel his way in this year. I did get the invite, and uh, we created Shantytown, which was uh, an interesting spot for us. And I just crashed it on Saturday. Yeah, but you you have a boat, so you can do that. Yeah, because every day I'm hustling. <laughs> exactly. That's right. yeah. Just a couple boat owners talking yeah, about that's boats. that's what we do. Oh, that's, here we go. We've yeah, already started. What? <laughs> what yeah. I do? I got a boat. <laughs> I got a boat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Duke doesn't know this. Did you get a boat? As of like a couple hours ago. He's a boater. I'm a boat owner. Oh, yeah. nice. More like nice. a what about Bob boat owner? <laughs> yeah. I'm sailing. I sail. Right. I'm going to move this up just there for you. You're fine. You're, you're, you don't need to get all too close all right. to it. These things are great. These are the good mics. They are. So you're going to trailer this thing to the driveway? and He's going to trailer it everywhere. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. Actually, we've been talking before the show, and he's talking about his like upcoming busy weekends. He's like, I'm going to take the boat there. I'm going to take the boat there. <laughs> I'm like, you're just going to roll this fucker all over the place. The problem is I can't back it up. Yeah. So I can just. As long as he can drive straight everywhere he goes, he's good. <laughs> yeah. I'll just have to drive the truck right into the water right. until the boat starts floating yeah. and get a new truck. Exactly. That's how well, I'm that, going to do I mean. It's just the Forerunner, man. Forerunner's a pristine machine. Okay. Then tow it with the Miata. You think the Miata can tow it? No. It's got a supercharger. Okay, then yes. Sweet. Yeah, I got to figure out that how I'm going to awesome. tow this boat. So I've been looking for a long time at these. These are horrible boats. 
Admittedly. They're not horrible. They serve a purpose. The purpose being fun and not much else. Yeah. Like most people that drive them do the devil horns and they're screaming the whole time. <laughs> for sure. Yes. So I bought, I bought a glorified jet ski. Okay. A four-seater jet ski. A four-seater jet ski is basically what I bought. So if anybody has ever seen the Sea-Doo Sportster. I've seen a Sea-Doo. It's literally got three seats in the back and then one up like in the front. And then it's got a little little area in the front you can kind of hang out, but it, it's not enough room to, like, put somebody. You can put a cooler up front. You put a cooler up front, and then it's got a little swim platform off the back, and it's a basic It's a basic. It's the yellow and white boat. one? The 2004. 04. Oh. Yeah. Yellow. Yellow and white. So what, new, it, so what is a good ish. starter boat? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's a basic bitch boat, and I've been looking at them forever because I'm always like, my wife wants a jet ski. And I'm like, I don't want a jet ski because you can't do anything with the jet ski. Like, you have to have two jet skis. Right. So I told her, I was like, all right, I'm going to buy a jet ski. I'm going to buy a Sea-Doo Sportster. That's what I'm going to get. And then you can go get a jet ski, and then I can, like, haul the kids in my jet ski. It's a little tiny 50 Is it foot. like this one with the one seat backwards and the other ones? That's the precise boat. Okay. There we go. Okay. We'll put it on the page for y'all to see. Yeah, it's a that is the exact boat. It's a little tiny boat, and I love that they put a big guy in the console. Boat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's basically a glorified jet ski. But I've been looking at them forever because I'm like, those are cool. I want a jet ski, but I want a boat. And the problem is, everybody wants like eight thousand dollars. I think he's playing Leonard Skinner in this boat. No, there's, <laughs> I think it comes standard with Leonard for Skinner. Sure. Yeah. You know? <laughs> You get in it, you turn it on, free That's the only starts. thing it plays. Yeah. It's just <laughs> solid nose. Skinner. Yeah. When the sun goes down, it switches to fog hat. Right. They <laughs> call it a day. So can it tow a tube or anything for the kids? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, it whips whips tubes. All if right. it couldn't, it would be legitimately worthless. So yes. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah, I was just making sure <laughs> yeah. he's not driving around. To yeah. People. Like, the <laughs> kids are like, this, this is, is awesome, Dad. Yeah. It's basically like we need to get over to that sandbar. No. This is the boat you take over to it. It's not a boat like you hang out on all day, listening to music, dancing. Like, where are you going to dance? Right. Yeah. No, I mean, you can shuttle up and down the river and have fun, but there's Basically, not room for fucking Cheez-Its in the cooler. No, but I don't have a grill on it. Yeah. Or Cheez-Its in a cooler. <laughs> the fuck? I mean. A grill. Slow your roll. We're just looking for a cooler <laughs> in Cheez-Its. Yeah, cool. I was going to get a hibachi oh, of sorts. Okay. Just do that right off the back. Definitely not. That. The igloo cooler is not fitting on that thing. No. <laughs> but I can you bring You can bungee little, it to the back of the boat. A <laughs> little backpack cooler. Yeah. But it's basically just for tooling around and going somewhere to then party and then come back. Yeah. You should actually name it tooling around because of you and because it tools around. Oh, because it's like a Swiss Army knife of boats. It's like a really good tool. Well, no, I was thinking because you're the tool. Okay. <laughs> oh. It tools around and it's dual purpose. It is right. I'm just going to call it Tim. And then everyone can figure out that I'm the tool man. Oh, no one's going to figure that out. Yeah. So it's perfect. Yeah. This is Tim. Little Timmy. Yeah. yeah. Little Timmy. Or you can name it Tim Hey. That that would be be, that's way better. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> that Maybe with some works. cross crutches afterwards, <laughs> yeah. like painted on, airbrushed. I don't actually hate that idea. I know. <laughs> it would be kind of cool. It's kind of sweet. But so I found a guy, it like popped up on, on Facebook Marketplace, and the dude was like... Isn't it crazy how Facebook knows what the fuck you're like, oh, hey, you need this, asshole. And you're yeah. like, you're right, Facebook. I do need this. Well, I have seeked out right. those boats many a time, but it's been a while since I've looked at them. And then it was like, this guy's selling that little crappy boat you like for $3,500. And I was like, what? Yeah, the algorithm's like, this dude likes a deal on some shit. Let's yeah, send it to so him. So let's charge him double. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it was, a, it was a hell of a steal. And, like, I looked it up. And, like, the dude selling it is friends with one of my buddies. So, like, I hit up my buddy. I was like, hey, is this dude legit? And he was like, yeah, that dude's, that dude's a great dude. He's like, why? And I was like, yeah, he's selling this boat. He's like, oh, tell me he's not selling the little boat. I love that boat. And he started sending me pictures of him towing their kids and stuff and, like, having, hanging out on the boat. I was like, okay, it's legit. That's a real boat. Reached out to the dude, and he's like... But he was asking astronomically less than he should have been. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. All right. And then so he was like, he was like, man, he's like, I'm definitely asking too little. He's like, I'm getting crushed with all these people. He's like, you're friends with my boy. He's like, are you serious about this? Like, I'd rather talk to you because I'm getting destroyed here. Yeah. And so 
I talked to him. I was like, yeah, man, like I'm, I'm, I'm real. Like I'm interested in your boat. And then he called me up. He was like, all right, I'd rather just talk to you. He's like, will you really buy this boat for me? I was like, yep, I'll buy it. Good deal. He was like, all right, dude, I'll, let's do the deal. So you're going to get it tomorrow before you go to the lake? No, it's like it, part of why he wants to work with me is because he can kind of work on his time frame. Okay, okay. It's sitting down at his river house and like, he's like, I don't want, I got people trying to come in from Jersey and like, I can't coordinate. He's like, I'm busy. I was like, man, I'm your guy. I was like, I'm laid back. You yeah. just tell me when you I'm want. I'm in no the, rush, brother. You just tell me when you want the money. Yeah. Like, so he was like, all right, he pulled it. He pulled it off tonight. So it's yours. It's mine. I mean, unless somebody comes in over the top nice. using 10 grand, like. There is a point where his loyalty to me could be could waver. Nah. But so, if he pulls it from Facebook Marketplace, like then you're, yeah, you're good. Out. Yeah. You're locked in. Yeah. He put pending today and it's gone now. So So when will it be in water for you? Probably in about twenty twenty eight. Yeah. Oh I keep in mind I don't have a boating license. I don't know how to back up a trailer. I don't know how to do any of the things. That I told him, bro, of course I'm your guy. <laughs> yeah. I'm the guy. So when you get it and you have to back out of his driveway, you're going to be like, hey, dude, can you get this back down? So right. Get exactly. Yeah. Ride. Yeah. Point it forward for me and we'll be out of here. <laughs> yeah. Why is it? Why is it going the wrong way? What are you doing, dude? Don't you know how to use a boat trailer? But I will say, though, you could probably you can lift that tongue and move that thing around probably pretty easily. It's a 1500 pound boat. OK. You could probably still lift it and move it, but not not a ton. Yeah. I mean, you can't like just. Lift it and walk it over here, but you, yeah, can, you like, probably can. I you mean, can, you can like, lift it, and it, watch. It, it. You can lift and move a jet ski wherever the fuck you want. It's still six hundred pounds, yeah. seven hundred pounds. So, yeah, I got a fighting chance. Yeah, you can shift but it around. You'll figure out how to do the trailer and do. That's time. what I was saying. I was like, oh, no, you, you got to yeah. just deal with it it's yeah. sucking for a while. That's the only way you learn. People are gonna laugh uh, and point at you. You just got to do it. I'm awful, but I've had to do it. Right. I've <laughs> had to go to the Blackens. That ramp sucks. Yeah. Go get a boat out of there. I'm fucking fire, but it just came from years of sucking. Yeah, that's that's it was the same way with parallel parking. Yeah. Like at first I couldn't do it. And then one day I got frustrated and I just practiced, practice, practice yeah. for like a whole afternoon. And ever since then I'm like really good at it. Oh, I'm surgical with that shit. I can launch and take my boat out by myself without anybody else. Now, Done it so many times. Now that's that's a little That's that's sketchy. the pro way though. Yes. I just back it in really close to the dock so I can just leap on, start the boat, pull it off, tie it up, pull the truck out, and do the, the reverse on the way of up. getting close to the dock is so many degrees beyond where I am. Yeah, I'm just yeah, trying no, to get you. it to go near the water. Right, yeah. But you'll be in the same predicament as Ely because I don't see you getting a lot of help in and out and <laughs> getting that thing no. out of the water. And no. So I, you'll be hopping around, figuring it out. I got to. Yeah. But gotta, you can take one of the kids and they can help you or something. Yeah, but I, I got a whole family. Actually, the kids can't do shit because they can't pull the car out. That's they what can't I'm saying. Do, yeah, That's what yeah. I'm saying. No, and he's going to be like running around. They're pretty worthless. Right. My, my whole crew. Right. I'm the most capable one in the yeah. crew, and I can't do it. Make it all happen, Dad. Make yeah, our fun yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snacks, drinks. I'd like to have fun in about two hours. <laughs> Can you go make that happen? That's actually part of <laughs> why I really want this. But my wife, as soon as I said boat, she's like, it's got to fit, fit at least eight people. That's yeah. her like, minimum amount. And I'm like, well, let's slow your roll on that because I don't want to just tow your friends around all day while you get drunk. That doesn't sound great to me. So I was like, how about a four-seater? That's cramped. Perfect. I don't Perfect. believe you because you'd rather tow your friends around. Yeah, but that's what the next boat's going to be for. I've got to <laughs> learn how to drive a boat. Yeah, that's it's yeah, a good, for sure. It's a good one to start, right? Yeah, I got a lot of things to learn. And then you set hours like we're going to be out from 10 to 2, and then I'm parking and jumping on somebody else's boat and drinking. Yeah. Yeah, partying. Yeah. And then I'm just going to leave it sitting on the trailer. Looking cool. Lapping into the water. I'm never even going to pull it out of the <laughs> off the ramp. Dude, you can drink driving the boat as long as you have, like, um, just you're not the Frank the Tank. Yeah, which is not my M.O. Right. Like I should be fine. I just have one here, you know, you're right. hit a water, have another one here, and I'm just, like, half of what everybody else is putting down. You know yeah. what I mean? Well, that wasn't your M.O. at scandals this no, no 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 that was a different healing <laughs> i like that healing scared the shit out of me that <laughs> oh really well i i don't drink tequila and you're like have some tequila and i'm like oh i can't say no <laughs> yeah no you can't say no 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 so i that, did but it was, was awesome was rules are different when there's guys on the boat i will say 
I will say that was a funny story. We were going out there. I was like trying to recruit a buddy or two to come with me out there. And they're like, it's going to be fucking downpours, lightning storms. And I'm like, and we're fucking going. Yeah. Like the guys are going. The women and the kids are staying home. Are we doing this? Yes. If like, I don't care how bad it is. We'll weather the storm. Right. I'm going to, I'm, I'm prepared to drive back in a category four if we need to. <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? That was the mentality yeah. going out. So whatever I came across, I was cool with. But y'all outran the storm, yeah, right? Yeah, we got not a drop. It was the, and it then it went around thing. us. Yes, it which was, was wild. That little spit of land where they do scandals, it's just this little sandbar that just keeps moving. And for whatever reason, storms don't really. Yeah, that was the, it. Was legitimately the weirdest thing. We were on our way out there, and the st- we're, we're out running the storm. It is right behind us, lightning behind us, dark as piss. We come around the cove where y'all are, and it's like we're in a whole other world. <laughs> it's like sunny. Yeah. And right. Like, what sunny, is going- and I'm like, oh, the storm's going to be here any minute. Shit never showed up. I was like, that is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. It's great, man. It's great. And those guys have it down. They've got all their jet skis out there. Oh, yeah. Like, it's got, a scene. It's a scene. And then they built the bar. I mean, we built a damn bar this year. Like, that well, thing was, it was. It had a good head start. They had done a nice job. Well, that was them there. doing it. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, were yeah, hauling yeah. the stuff yeah. over between between Woody and Crandall. Right. They were bringing all that stuff over. They built the bar bit by bit, hauling stuff yep. across the bay, building it on. This yeah. So basically, for the listeners out there, picture Brendan and Matt living like castaway. That's what I <laughs> rolled up to in the boat. It's like in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> There's this one tent. And they're living off with a piece of wood and making things work. It was hilarious. It was awesome. We it, had a, it was We awesome. had a sawzall. Yeah. We had a drill. Oh, and by the way, it was fucking 95 degrees. I'm like, how are you sleeping in this, like, swamp lots of, cooler? Lots of depressants. Clearly. <laughs> yeah. You wake up, you yeah. start drinking, and you drink until you so, fall over. But what time did it get hot as piss unbearable in the tent? 6 a.m. <laughs> really? But by seven, you had to get out of your tent. You still slept like another yeah, six, hour. Yeah, six would be With hot. a frown on your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Six, it was hot enough that all of a sudden you're like, is it uncomfortable yeah. in here? And then you yeah. start. Dude, six is early as yeah. fuck. Like every time you walk outside at 6 a.m., it's a little cool. Right. Not there. No, 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 no. No, nah, because yeah. there's no shade. I mean, right. you're literally on, on a sand island. And I'm imagining, though, that you had like the sides of the tent where the breeze could go through. Yes, and we would unzip it. Yeah. So that was the, yeah. the 6 a.m. move. You get up. Now you're unzipping. You're allowing some breeze in. But you have to. You be, had the zipper up? You do. I was doing like a half zip situation. For what reason? Too night. cold for you? It was just a little chilly. I think the first night we didn't even pay attention. We were t- like, I just went to bed. I crashed. I didn't even pay attention, and I woke up to piss. I was like, I've got to open, get some yeah. cross breeze in here. Right. Yeah, we figured out the yeah. breeze day one. Day right. one was a lot of learning. Yeah. Mostly learning when you're living in shanty town. Right. In one sleeping bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, dude. There was no sleeping bags. Like it was so damn hot. I actually brought a blanket that I had I had washed, and then I tried to dry it, and this damn thing wouldn't. Like, it literally would not dry. It's, I think it's made out of sponges. And no matter how much I dried it, it wouldn't dry. It was soaking wet. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to throw it in the Duke's car. I'll take it out there. I threw it over the bar to let it air dry. That night came around. I went and got it soaking fucking wet still. So I brought it in, and I put it in my tent, only to realize it's way too hot to have any kind of blanket. So I'm just laying on the ground. And... That thing just sat in my tent and created a mildew Fermented. stink. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And it just stinks. It just stunk through the whole weekend. And then I loaded it back on the boat, dragged it back across the bay. Really, it probably weighed 30 pounds, too. Yeah. Oh, I it mean, was it was so... But who washes a blanket two hours before you leave right. to go camp? I who puts a fermented before? blanket in the tent? <laughs> I don't know. This was a great idea. <laughs> this will work well. <laughs> I brought it all the way from Richmond out to the bay, loaded it on a boat across the bay to the island, unloaded what it. What is it, your B? Like you couldn't tent. go home, leave home without it or something? I screwed up. Okay. Mistakes for me. He did say that was his, his blanket. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It was my blanket. He had his yeah. thumb in his mouth dragging yeah. it along the sand. Yeah. He didn't mention that part. So, yeah, I linus to that bitch the <laughs> whole way. Right. It so, was still wet when we went home, wasn't it? It was, except now it was covered in sand and wet. Oh, okay. Nice. It was beautiful. So sleeping. now it's gritty and smells bad, and I'm scared and it's to on wash your bed. It. <laughs> no, it's rolled up nice and tight, collecting mildew in the garage, baking. Perfect. So next time it'll be in the trash. The next it'll just time you smell see it. like shit sticks. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, yeah, it was. That'll nice. be cool. 
So we we established, you know, all these other guys have boats. They've got big old power boats with AC and generators and sailboats. With but now you're one of those guys. But, yeah, in my little jet boat. Yeah. <laughs> hey, pull up. it works. I just picture Damn him right. pulling up like Forrest Gump where he does that wave where he's like, that's my boat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm going to look hilarious trying to load all my shit yeah. to build my shanty hovel. Yeah, let, let's boat. be honest. Woody took us over there, right? And we had enough shit that his boat was like weighed down. And he's got a Boston Whaler. Yeah. yeah. Unsinkable. I mean, We're like, it was yeah. like. Test that. Yeah. But he got us across, which was awesome. Yeah, a mile an hour. Yeah. He's like, well, we're not going to be able to go fast. Fair enough. Yeah, we just Forward. need to get there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so they all had their AC and their power and all their stuff, and we established Shantytown, the newest, the newest part of the Scandals trip. It's where the poor people live. Yes. And we poured it up. And we had a friend camp with us, too. Yep, our boy Dan yep. set up another tent. But by day three, he said, Shantytown is for the poor. Yeah. I'm going over to an air conditioner. Yeah. <laughs> and he, yeah. He went out. He went back to a dude's house. He woke up to eggs, oh, bacon, yeah. Bloody Mary. Genius. Yeah. Air conditioning. Felt great. Took a shit in a toilet like a man. Probably showered. Did oh. you look Did you look down on him after that? Yes, I did. Yeah. He did. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. I mean, he answered so fast. That was the best. Yeah. I was like, you left us. Exactly. Son of a right. Bitch. Yeah. But we loved him in the days oh, yeah. leading up. Yeah, he's great. I yeah, still yeah. love him. Oh, of course. Because he, he was up at 7 a.m. We're with, roughing this together. Yeah, yeah. Making yeah. coffee with us, covered in bug bites yeah. head to right. toe. Dude, my bug bites were unbelievable when I got back. I was covered. Did you have them or did they just eat him? No, I never wear bug spray or anything. And the, when we were setting up the tent, it was like no breeze and just getting eaten alive. Oh. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> but after that first night, I don't the breeze was good enough that we weren't getting bit. Up. I didn't notice them until I got home. Yeah, yeah. Me neither. There was something about getting in air conditioning that allowed my body to like decompress. And right. It was like, they start turning red. And it was like, by the way, up. you're dying. Yeah. It was like, oh, shit, I have malaria. But yeah, I think when the wind and the breeze was blowing, they weren't bad. It was just that first, when we were setting up that tent the first night, there was no breeze. Every night around 1 a.m., the bugs would come out to have the baddest late night party they've ever had. Well, yeah, because there's it's 5.2 million mosquitoes, and there's not a single piece of bl human blood anywhere around, <laughs> yeah. and you two shitbirds show up, <laughs> yeah. and they're like, hey, guys. Here we are. Yeah. It was better when we had the third, because... There were 33% less That's mosquitoes. Right. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Once they left, it increased 33%. Yeah. It, was, it was brutal. Yeah, we got crushed. We got crushed. Yeah. But we had fun. We had fun. And then we were trying to figure out why we were so sore. Like our legs were yeah. so sore. Finally occurred to me. It was hauling all that wood from it's the walking other through side the sand. of the island. Yeah. It's walking through the sand all the time, yep. I think. Yeah. yeah, it definitely was. Yeah. Because we walked way across to pick wood up for the bar. And on that Sunday, we're like, man, why are we so sore? Not, but I mean, I think it's because of the squish of right. the sand, right? The whole time. Yeah. And then you got to, you had to walk really far to f take a shit. So we didn't have toilets. So you would have to go into the water. Shit on the, yeah. I was doing water babies the entire weekend. Well, yeah. let's slow this down. Somebody took a 15 yard walk shit and had a floater float into the uh, <laughs> cove. This was the most... <laughs> by someone. Yeah, by you, someone. You mean Brendan. Okay. Just making sure. Because when I went to shit, I went way out so the <laughs> yeah, tide would right. be out into the bay. It's not accurate. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. We've known you long enough. <laughs> yeah. So That's I accurate went, AF. I went to where I thought was a really good spot to take my inaugural water baby. Figured I would go out there and just have... I figured this is the spot. And so I went out way past the boats. And it was I've never had a more scandal. Way past the boats. He just said 10 yards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did. I went to the end of the cove, and then yeah. I went out what I thought was past, past the boats. Yeah. Upwind. So, but this was the most Scandals image I can remember of the whole trip. Because Scandals is pieced together on just hopes, dreams, and booze. Yeah. And it works. It's amazing. But I went out there, and they, someone had made, like, uh, rub-on tattoos that said Club Scandals on them. So I was all lotioned up, covered in, in suntan lotion and bug spray. I had a, a stick on Club Scandals tattoo, and I go wading out into the water. And I take this, this shit, which it felt to me like 
I had just like sprayed mud in the water and I was like, oh, well, that was kind of anticlimactic. And then I felt something go on my back, like thump, thump. <laughs> nice. <laughs> like, hello, like, yeah. tap, 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 uh-huh. still here. And I turn around and there is a foot to a foot and a half long <laughs> That's awesome. turd. And it is floating and there's oils. All around me. Definitely. And a Club Scandals tattoo floating. <laughs> oh I looked my down. God. It's like a 16 inch turd surrounded by oil, Scandals tattoo, and I'm just looking at it like, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> like, that is the most scandals, I have arrived. The most Scandals thing I've ever seen. And then right behind it, another six inch turd just kind of moving along behind it. And I was like, all right, well, I should probably get out of here because that's a, that's a hell of a turd. Yeah, that's 22 inches of turd, bro. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen it, – it's something about giving birth in water. It's yeah. just, well, the night before, it was two monster Kirkland hot dogs that he had right. like, shot right back and out. And they came out <laughs> we talking about like he ate them? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. But they came out exactly. Yeah, but they came exactly as right. they went down. Okay. It was like a magic trick. I was like, watch, I'm chewing it up. <laughs> watch me make this hot dog disappear. And now I'm going to put it back together. <laughs> yeah. Like, hot dogs. But so I like came back in and was like, all right, well, that was crazy. And then I'm hanging out by all the boats. And then someone's like, oh, my God, what is that? <laughs> and just this massive turd. like Dur-dup. Rubbing against their boat. Dur-dup, 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 just coming over. Oh. And I can't figure out how to get rid of it. So I'm just taking big like bunches of sand and just dropping like bombs on it. Well, the first one came over, and I buried it on the shore like a dog. Oh, my God. Like, I dug a hole, and then, like I just kind of brushed the water in, and then I covered it. And I yeah. was like, that should do. And then the big one came in. I was like, oh, no. And I started just bombing it. And I thought I got it all. Started breaking up. Right. <laughs> then, <laughs> then I hear the guys like, what the hell is this? And this dude has to fire up a jet ski, a two-stroke jet ski. And then he brings it around, and he's just throttling it and holding it, so the jet will just push, push the, the turd. Yeah. And we, they, they had to push it out around the point. Right. It was like, my bad, guys. That Thanks was, uh, for your help. How oh, was it? It was work. It was work. That's when we learned to go to the other side yeah. of the island, <laughs> right? To take shits, and that became a thing. Like, Wait, I, was that before or after he showed him the disappearing hot dog trick? <laughs> I showed him the disappearing hot dog trick the night before. Oh, okay. And then I showed him the rear reappearing hot dog trick the next, next morning. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. You know. Live and learn. Yeah. And I learned. And then oh, yeah. I would wake up in the morning and I'd see the Duke coming out of the water like a fucking swamp monster. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was one morning. It was like seven in the morning. And I like look out and I see him coming out of the water and he's like, just took a shit and a shower. <laughs> Same time. Yeah, yeah. man. Oh, it was beautiful. Just take a bar of soap out there and clean up. And yeah, yeah. We would just clean up right there on That's the shoreline awesome. and then pour a little fresh water over your head. Yeah. And you're like, I'm clean for the next 20, 20 30 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Golden. And then start drinking and sweating and boom. You don't yeah. like tequila? Or do you do now? I uh, yes, I do now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in love with Come it. Come to now. find out. <laughs> yeah. Who yeah. knew? Ely showed up in his pontoon. He pulls right up on the shore. Oh, it was like landing on Normandy. He just pulled that son <laughs> yeah. of a bitch right up on the sand. Pulls right up and comes walking out, and he's just carrying a bottle of fucking tequila. And he's just walking around drinking tequila like we're drinking beers. How, yeah. you, how else would you guys do it? No, that's the only way I think okay. do it. Mixed drink or... Uh, no, I so, did have margarita mix, didn't I? No, I didn't. No, we were just didn't. tequila. You were yeah. I think sipping. you had it in a vodka <laughs> bottle, too. <laughs> That's what I had to pair it bay. Yeah, yeah, it was in a, a paired bottle. bay bottle. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. I mean, yeah. He was like, you want some tequila? I was like, That's rum. Like, it's not. The tequila bottle's so big that yeah. I had to yeah. pour it into this bottle yeah. just yeah. to bring it. Right. This is my travel holster. Yeah. Yes. And then I go, I walk on his boat, and he's like, Oh, good. You're here to shotgun beers? I was like, Damn. Oh, yeah. Guess yeah. who won? Ely, Ely, I had a little, yeah, of Ely, of course, won. Everyone, the listeners already knew that, man. It's you ain't got to say heartbreaking. that. Heartbreaking. His boat's beautiful, man. Hell, it fits right in with scandals. Oh, man. Yeah. Fits right in. I just put new seats in that the boat. The seats that was on your boat pitch. are more comfortable than my sofa in my house, <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah, they're nice. I mean, that thing is, that thing moves, too. Yeah, man, it goes, we were running 38 miles an hour out there. Yeah, when you left, you were like, <laughs> hauling Yeah, on. it was awesome. On a bay. Yeah. Like that's the blows pontoon boat should never be on a bay. 
Yeah. And your boat just rips across the bay like it's nothing. It does. It, it's an awesome boat. I tell people all the time, like, I piss money away on dumb shit, like, bad. Yeah. But our boat is one of the best investments we've ever made, simply because the memories, our friends, like, we use it all of the fucking time. Like, we legitimately use it probably 70% of the weekends in the summer. And that's, that's friends, the family, family. And if you go through like memories and Facebook or whatever, there's like years of pictures of us having an amazing time, everybody on our boat. Right. And so it's like been crazy enough is that boats aren't typically good investments. But for us, it's yeah. been the best thing ever. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to be making memories with the crew, the crew in my boat. That's why you got to get the nine seater so you can bring the, the people. I think if I, I'm a... Play get, with this boat this get summer. Get through two summers with that exactly. boat. Exactly. I don't think I have two summers in me. I'm already thinking about the fact that I need a sea yeah, This dude's like, <laughs> I'm, gonna get, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to live with two boats from here on out, I yeah. think. <laughs> like, I'm going to keep this one, get a yeah, bigger get one. get another one. Yeah, from zero <laughs> boats to two yeah. in like a year. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I like where your head's at. Double like, trailers. Yeah. Yeah. Both in the driveway exactly. with five cars. Yeah. No, work. he's going to get a winch on the back of the big <laughs> boat to lift up the little boat. I'm going to put the little boat like a dinghy yeah, exactly. the back of That's my That's what I'm boat. saying. Yeah, it's going to be... The little boat will be in the back of the yard here. We'll right. be pushing it on a Sunday. Yeah, yeah. We're going to park it back here. Uh-huh. I'm just going to build a pool and just keep it in that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get Neighbors some practice gonna, in the pool. Neighbors are going to love me. No, I think two boats is the way to go. Well, yeah, that says everybody. Everybody always says the best day you buy a boat, or the two best days you buy a boat is the first day you buy a boat. And then the day you buy your second boat. Everybody uh, says yeah, that. Yeah, that's yeah. the that, old that adage. Is, that is the old Definitely. adage. Right? That's what every, yeah. Everybody knows that. Right. Two best days. But I am a ship. sucker for a deal as well. So if you do get a good deal, first time, when you told me you got it, he calls me up and he's like, this dude's got it listed for this and it's worth this. I'm like, so are we flipping this bitch? What are we doing here? It's a steal. Yeah. I'm so excited. Like, I got a deal. What's funny is I did this. No, oh, I just sold my truck recently and the same thing happened to me. And I like even researched and listed it g- aggressively. But I had fuckers beating my door down. Yeah. And they were like, I want to come see it now. I mean, a list of, no joke, 25 people. And I'm like, and I would come across people like in the campground. This dude's like, I'll buy it from you right now. Take it off. I'm like, okay, well, I fucked up apparently. Right. But I ended up bumping it up like 1500 bucks from when I listed it and sold it immediately to the first dude. It was crazy. That's the, and I, that was actually part of my, my technique. With with guy, like I, I purposely made sure I got vouched for by someone yes. else. And then I was like, I understand how frustrating Facebook Marketplace can be. I understand that there's a bidding war, and if the bidding war is happening, I say go for it, get all your money. But yeah. if you're frustrated and you don't want to deal with this, I'm your guy. Then I would be glad to just give you a guaranteed sure thing that'll be easy to work with. Yeah. Do you take pesos? Twenty four <laughs> twenty four hours later, he's like, Can we talk? Nice. I was like perfect but i think ease of sale adds you know you can always try for more money but yeah a reliable ease of sale makes it i told him i said if you take it down like i'm telling you i will buy it i will bring the cash like this will happen and when he agreed to it i was like i appreciate you taking if you find a seller that is like mentally done with something that's the place to be and they don't want to deal with the hassle of all bunch of fucking assholes showing up that's a sweet spot right yeah and that's what i figured i could be yeah it was like you got a dude vouching for me. Like, I'm a normal dude. I'm going to be real easy. Yeah. I, you but don't want to deal gonna, with riffraff. Yeah, but yeah, so, so, on a funny, so funny enough, I do that shit on a smaller scale where I'm like, uh, like I had some friends that had a power washer. It's like a year old, but I can't, and I was wrenching on it, trying to get it to work, but it, and I'm like, I'm with this bitch for free because I don't feel like fucking with it. Right. It's free. Come and get yeah. the goddamn thing because I don't feel like fucking with it. The guy's like, you sure you want to let this go for free? I'm like, yeah, get it out of here. You know what I mean? Because they didn't want it. Right. I didn't want it. No yeah. skin off my back. You know what I mean? And somebody so, will fix it. Yeah. It'll work. Right. Yeah. I've, so I've, I've started doing that where I'll take like one item that I'm tired of. Yeah. Like this lawnmower, like I just can't get it working. Someone can do it. So I'll put it on like a buy nothing or a Facebook yeah. marketplace or something. I'll be like. Hey, I'm giving this away for free, but you also have to take these three things too. <laughs> That's genius. <laughs> and I just That's get, the way to do it. I get rid of three other things. I'm like, you come, you get that for free, but you have to haul all this crap oh, out dear. of here. Uh, but I, so in our neighborhood, though, and you're going to hate this, we have construction dumpsters because they're building homes. Dude, 
I emptied out two thirds of a 16 foot enclosed trailer scattered around three different dumpsters <laughs> like two nights ago. I threw a lawnmower into the fucking dumpster. Hell yeah. Oh, it was. So I had to move around because, you know, in the middle of the night, in the middle of the neighborhood, it's quiet as shit. You're like and sneaking I'm like, around. Boom! Like, <laughs> throwing shit in there. Shit's banging around in the goddamn trailer. Oh, I felt so bad just for a second. You know, not yeah, bad. yeah, you don't yeah. feel that bad. No, I, I see it all the time. I'm no. like, you get over it. As long, I do. As long as there's not tires and mattresses. Oh. Because they. The dumpster companies won't take, take them. them. Yeah. So then they, you've got to get I'm the mattresses. I'm not going to take lawnmowers, though. <laughs> you got to yeah. get down there and get the goddamn mattresses out. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. They won't take them. Oh, damn. So I'm like, when somebody fucks me like that. But don't they just bill you, though? Like, because the, the company that hauls it away is going to make you. A lot of times they just won't even take it. So I'll but they get can't see else. that shit. Well, yeah. If you can get it buried down low. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, key, yeah. But. I would never leave a lawnmower on top, man. <laughs> yeah, Come of on. course. Yeah. <laughs> I was able to get rid of a, uh, a mattress not too long ago. I put it I put it on there and I said twenty five dollars. Because no one wants a free mattress. I've never thought about selling a mattress. People buy mattresses? Dude, <laughs> someone came and bought the fucking mattress. But when they when you say free mattress, they go, Ew. Right. Why in a million oh, years okay. would I hundred percent. Yeah. So I put twenty five dollars. Dude showed up and started haggling with me. I was like, I'll take the twenty. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So he took it for twenty dollars and the look on his wife's face. When she saw like the stains and the nastiness, and oh, I was like, "God, I was like, you want to uh, help carrying it out? Yeah, like you I want to like, sniff? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Do you want the the bl- uh, the black light on this? Thing? That's right. Yeah, <laughs> like, let me show you what's yeah. really on this. But thing. what's crazy too, the inter- there's another side to this is that you can also make those people's day, which is really cool too. Like oh. whenever I do that, you make that motherfucker's day because they're like. Often when you send something for free that shouldn't be for free, you get 550 fucking messages immediately. Yeah. And so the person that you choose that it's like, oh, my God, you're going to give this to me for free. Yeah, it literally makes their day. Yeah. yeah. I told you about we told a story a long time ago where I gave the car away for free for the guy for Christmas and he fucking wanted to hug me. That remember was that? huge. Yeah. yeah. I That's do awesome. remember that. Yeah. But that dude sounded like he was down on his luck and you, you hooked him oh, up. Oh, for sure. Yeah, because he was coming to pay. Yeah, oh, he was. He handed me the cash. I was like, just keep it, man. Merry Christmas. That's awesome. Dude, blew his fucking mind. I mean, that's the move right there. That yes, is awesome. absolutely. You can have it free. Hey, I'm going to strap this mattress on the roof, though. So you got to figure out what to do with that thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, people talk about all the time, like, if they won the lotto, they do. I, I would give the majority of it away because of the feeling of, like, surprising people with being able to do awesome shit. But that gets you high. Like, you love, yes. you love that Well, who high. doesn't? I'm with Everybody you. Everybody loves that but high. But you actually genuinely love that high Who the fuck that- doesn't like that high? I'm just saying. I don't know I, a human that doesn't like that high. I won the lottery. I wouldn't just give a bunch of it away. I would like be very like strategic, s- strategic about how I give it away. I think you would like like a junkie. You'd be out there like bam, drop a hundred on somebody. You're just not to, wrong. Just to make them get that high. For sure, you're not wrong. But I think. I guess it depends on the size, right? Don't get me wrong. I ain't giving it away, so I ain't got no fucking money. <laughs> like, yeah, no, yeah. clearly. But I right. think I would be a little more systematic about it than... Yeah. If you win fucking $50 million, you ain't got to be systematic. No. Well, $50 million change things. But you, if I win a million dollars? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little different. You're not really going to do anything. With a million, you're just going to try yeah. to retire early. Exactly. I mean, I need a boat lift right. for yeah. two boats. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. yeah. No. Y'all buying your own groceries, God damn it. Yeah. I need yeah. two boat lifts. Exactly. Right. I'll tip the boat lift guy heavily. But I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's about. That's funny. About the extent of it, right there. So, scandals was a success. It was awesome. Are they doing but, anything different next year? Like, have y'all been planning that yet? Like, so any? Every, well, this year, if you look at some of the additions that were made, one obviously the bar was built. The bar was amazing. The new bar, because there was an old one that was falling over. Is that right? Yeah, it's going in. It's it's the bay the, is it's, taking it's the sea it away. Is eating it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we put one on the Poseidon. highest. We put one on the highest point, which will ten years tops. You know, at the rate this thing goes, but it's there. There's an ostrich looking over it. If the, you ever make your way out, the to lights live. were added. The solar lights. Had- so then there's there's a guy. There's a guy named Fabian who he uh, is it Fabian or Fabian? It's Fabian. Okay. Yeah. But everyone says Fabian because that's kind of like the what Americanized, yeah, yeah, yeah. bastardized version of his name. But the first time I met him, he introduced himself as Fabian. And then I heard 20 motherfuckers call him Fabian. And I thought to myself, it's Fabian. Okay, it's Fabian. Yeah. He said yeah. Fabian. 
so Fabian is legitimately German. Like came over from Germany, went to college, lives here now. Um, but he still got a little of that, that, that German in him. So when he built, we always try to put a flagpole up. We find the biggest piece of wood we can, haul it back, bury it, put it up, establish a flagpole. But in true German style, he turned it into a fucking club. Oh, it looks cool, though, with all the lights hitting the he put a, He put a stuff. solar panel on the top, wrapped that bad boy with lights, and then put a light show thing on the top that literally charges all day, and then when the night falls, yeah. it just it just puts lights out. Yeah. So it's like a German club, which I got oh, to cool. respect. It looks cool because when the tall grass, when it gets in the tall grass, it makes everything look like fireflies and stuff d- dancing around. It's... It's cool. So now we've got a bar. We built the bar. We put the flagpole up with the light show. And then what I think was probably the single craziest thing is the floating picnic table. Picnic table. Did you see the floating picnic table? I did. That was amazing. So it's got, it's got like pontoons under it. And the yeah. whole reason he has that. Where does all this stuff live? Well, now it's all there. The floating t- picnic table? It's still there. Oh, so someone's going to take it. People are using it. So there's a little there's a little thing. You can look up little. It's like a Facebook uh, or is it yeah, Instagram? Yeah, there's a QR code, QR, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like Little Bay Sandbar on Facebook and Instagram. And, like, people, like, scan it, and then they post there. And, like, people are scanning and posting all the time. I saw people this past weekend partying their asses off on the picnic table. Because nice. the picnic table has this, this crazy contraption that goes through the center and it goes down as like a giant corkscrew that's like super long. So you can float it out, and then you put that and you twist it into the ground and it anchors it in yeah, place. Yeah, so it doesn't rock. Right. Yeah, and then it, but it so it stays in place too. Yeah. So it can rise with the tide because it can go up and down the pole. That's awesome. And then it's got a piece of rebar on it, you know, because safety. Yeah, and pell yourself in the eye when you're sitting <laughs> yes. out there hammered. Yeah. He meant rebar, but we got it. <laughs> rebar, rebar. Yeah. So I saw that someone was someone was posting on there this weekend. They were taking pictures and they were like, love the picnic table. Thank you for doing that. That's this. awesome. There were a bunch of chicks posing in bikinis at the bar. Nice. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, no. It's Where were they? Yeah, exactly. It was a bunch of fuck? dudes when we were there. Yeah. Yeah. Every year is different. We had one year a, a couple merchant marines showed up. And these two women, it was one dude and two women. These two women were like like tens like like from it was unbelievable wow we're like we're like and where are you guys from they're like oh we're merchant marines like hold on you're like military like yeah we're just dimes in the military about to ditch the geek (laughs) (laughs) they partied with us all night nice well we had one kayak girl right didn't she come up that was the strangest (laughs) thing ever was it not (laughs) yeah it was it was almost like dumb and dumber like hey (laughs) big gulps huh and she just walked off (laughs) yeah like okay you just showed up on an island (laughs) yeah and docked yeah and wandered off. Yeah, it yeah. was interesting. It was wild. Yeah, like if it was 500 years ago, that would not have been safe. <laughs> no. <laughs> right. Been some Genghis Khan shit. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> oh. There's <laughs> so many comments. I'm just going to yeah. leave. That is the best. I'm just going to leave them there. <laughs> but yeah, that Little Bay Sandbar, that thing is like, that's, that's, that's hopping. No, that place is awesome. I mean, yeah, and for I, sale, right? Didn't we learn it's for sale for like? Yeah, it's five hundred thousand dollars for a spit for of moving. land that's just constantly <laughs> yeah. changing and moving and going away. How much property is it? It's all that shit back there. But what can you do with it? You can't build on it. It's constantly moving, and it's oh, so there's domain. no there's no land. Not really. They somebody oh. said there was a small buildable portion of it or something. But I don't know how you. It's would. not buildable, but there is a small portion where you could build a house, but you can't insure it. Okay. Like it's the the ground is leaving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's moving constantly. Right. But I guess wherever it moves to is all part of the land. Cuz it's just God taking the sand from here and moving it over here. Right. Somebody'll figure it out. They'll put a casino out there. Yeah. <laughs> but what would you what would you do? You buy it, but it's already like public domain. Everybody parties on your land. So there's a couple of places near there that are they have that challenge where people party all the time and then like People were leaving bottles and shit and ruining the place. And so the owner, like, would put out signs and, was, like, closed it down. And it, they kept it closed down for a good two years, and people wouldn't go. So, But to your point, it's very difficult. Like, how do you keep yeah. people off, right? I mean, signs do a good job, though, believe it or not, right? I believe it, but that place doesn't get trashed. 
It's like yeah. there's something special about that little spit of land because everybody cleans up. And then they have people who go out there and clean up if they see things that are wrong. Like everybody kind of pitches in to maintain that that little spot. Yeah. And I think it's part of the fact that people are building bars and all these things that go out there. It's kind of become a spot and it's developed just a community. Well, I think if you leave something clean, people are generally going to try to yeah. leave it in the same condition. But did you notice the amount of shit? Yeah. It's like feces. 22 just, inches. Well, it's huge. <laughs> yeah. And the weirdest thing is it, it is one of those little like bioluminescent. Like if you go out there at night and rub your hands through the water, yeah. it lights up. Yeah. I'm, I don't understand why more people aren't fascinated by that, but I can sit there all night and just pee and watch it light up and then run my hand through the pee. <laughs> watch it light up. Could you have slept in the shallow water? <sighs> or at least like soak, get out. I guess that wouldn't work because you got to. Nah, you don't get any be, deep, you can't get deep about sleep. Tides like rising. <laughs> <and stuff. laughs> yeah. We woke up the next morning on the last day, and like the stand-up jet ski had had just floated away. Yeah, and it was all stuck up in the reeds, like on the other side of the like the little sound there. Yeah, like we were looking everywhere, like where is it? And then all of a sudden, you just see this faint piece of white and blue and red. And it was like, oh wait, that's it over there. Someone had to like paddleboard out there and get it kind of awesome yeah. so only the three then two of you slept on the beach everybody else slept on a boat everybody uh, uh a couple people slept at the house yeah oh, okay. everybody was in air conditioning except us nice no i think um but one of the guys with the the sailboat couldn't get ac that first night maybe oh, uh so rough yeah fabian complained Are you... that it was too cold yeah fabian night. said he put on a he had to get a second scarf blanket. because yeah, it yeah, was so yeah. cold i was like i'm Are gonna you cut you right me? yeah <laughs> Like you uh, what's your plan for next year? Are you like trying to figure it out in air conditioning? Or are you like, fuck it, we're doing Castaway? Castaway. I think at the moment I'm a shantytown guy. Okay. I yeah. like the concept of that. Yeah. But, you know, maybe I get myself a 44 foot sea ray. Do you get the vibe in. that none of them were shantytown types? Everybody there was shantytown type with the exception of one. Really? He was furious. That it was even being referred to as Shantytown when he's like, it's all scandals. It's all scandals. There is no Shantytown and scandals. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, I understand that. Like, we're fine. He's like, no, everyone keeps saying Shantytown. So, no, but I mean, do you ever see a Joel. world? <laughs> do you ever see a world where their boats are parked and they're just going to sleep on the shore and, and live like cast away with y'all? I think it's possible only because no one had ever proven that it could be done. And we were the first ones to actually pitch and do it and i think it was it was unknown if people would react poorly to seeing tents posted up out there but everybody who was coming down the shore was like this is so cool what are you guys doing like every morning when we were yeah. sitting there drinking coffee in our lanai because we did have I, a but little... in reality if you snap your fingers and you have a 30 some foot sea ray are you sleeping in that bitch Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So living like Castaway is more of like subconsciously you know it's going to have to happen. So you're like, oh, yeah, we're into that. Yeah, but it is. there is a certain. I, I agree there totally is. But there's a certain amount of cool of like waking up and you're already on the beach. Sweating at six. Yeah. That, I mean, that part sucks. But like you have the bar. You have the Coleman grill going. Coffee's yeah. being made. You feel like you've been marooned. Yeah, like everybody else is coming off the boats to come to us yeah. to yeah. eat breakfast and have coffee. Even though there's grills on some of those boats, they were choosing to come to us. I do think there is a draw. To Shantytown. To Shantytown. Yeah. Being yeah. on the beach. Right. I mean, sleeping on sand isn't bad either. If you yeah. camped everywhere, sand is the best place For to sure. camp. By far. Yeah. Instead of like a Molds to your in body. Your it's yeah. like a yeah. uh, Tempur-Pedic. Yeah. I brought a little like uh, a camping mattress that like <laughs> like folds up. Was and it then, wet? Like, no, but like it's one of those where you just open up the vents and then it like fills up and then you yeah. close the vents and it just holds like an inch of something. Right. And I forgot to close one of the <laughs> vents in my like stupor. And I was like, I, I never even figured out why, but I was like, man, this thing is like really sandy. And it's like, I'm, I feel like I'm right on the ground. This isn't doing much. It wasn't very comfortable. And when I was rolling it up, I, I like, went to un open them up and one of them was just open i was like oh that makes perfect sense yeah i carried that out there for no reason too so a blanket an air mattress all of which were not used 
perfect. I mean, I think the only downside of the camping is really that 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. Right. time frame. Yeah. At night, it's cool enough. Like, I got my sleeping bag to, every night during the night because the wind's blowing. So, Like, you could almost shift it. If you could figure out a way to shift it to, like, Labor Day ish around oh, there, you'd be gold. Yeah, dude, you would be. And the water'd still be money. Yeah, the yeah. water'd be probably just as good, right? Maybe better, exactly. Well, it's so shallow, right? Where yeah, it it's up. almost hot as piss. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. So if you could like talk them, like y'all, might, y'all might want to lobby for pumping that <laughs> date out a little bit. They love weekend after Fourth of July. It's nice and hot. They can really. Yeah. They want to flex their AC. Yeah, they do. They want to be cold at night. <laughs> so it's funny you mentioned the uh, scandals tattoo. I, I just showed up and I'm like, this motherfucker's got a tattoo that says scandals. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know they were temporary. So I didn't know the dude and he's got one and I'm like, oh, okay. I see how you roll, motherfucker. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. we're hardcore, man. Yeah. Because that might have been two days old, too. By that point. Yeah. I mean, everyone there. We, no, every- but at that time, I didn't know that that's what you called this event. So I'm like, that's a weird fucking tattoo. Yeah. What the Club fuck is scandals? scandals? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Right. That's awesome. You're like, yeah. Look at this nerd. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I was like, cool tattoo, bro. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting my beaches. Because I thought it was real <laughs> yeah. and lame as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Now it makes total sense as you said that. Yeah. Now that dude's on probably the... super cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just decided he was cool. Yeah, exactly. That's fantastic. Right. Yeah. It's the greatest trip. It's the greatest yeah, trip. It's pretty cool. Like, I like to. I, I mean, every year I'm going to try to go. Like I block the calendar as soon I mean, as they, they brought a smoker out there. I mean, they, literally they, smoked a brisket yeah. overnight on the beach. Yeah. Woke up and then the next day for dinner had dope ass brisket. That's awesome. Yeah. And then properly stored in a fridge for breakfast the next morning. Right. Oh, no, that's right. It wasn't, and it was still good as shit. Yeah. Yeah. Your body gets stronger at scandal. Definitely. Get oh yeah. Eaten by bugs. Eat it. We were. Who sitting- you tell them? The Duke. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. The Duke I'm was not like- worried about press. Exactly. Ain't yeah. nobody got time for that. Yeah. yeah. There was one point we were all sitting out on the floating picnic table, and a dude came out with a bucket, and it was full of chicken thighs that had been smoked all day. Oh, that's amazing. You're just dumping yeah. chicken just thighs just out on the yeah. picnic You're table, my new floating. Friend. Yeah. Right. Side note, good. chicken thighs, best cut of chicken in the world. Absolutely. Oh, Why my people, God. I don't know. No one wants, everyone's like, oh, I don't Always want the thigh. Get I want thighs. the breast. And oh, you they're, want one, the- they're low cost, too. Yeah. They're cheap and literally the best piece of chicken. Well, no, breast is good because it gets dry. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what is this nerd talking about? <laughs> no, oh, fuck. no, that's what I say. The, the thigh is the best. You get a ton of meat. Yeah. It doesn't. Tender as shit. You can overcook it, and it still comes out The only thing I will sometimes good. get is the quarters where they put the leg on it. Oh, it's yeah. just as cheap. You can get a bag of them. Yeah, yeah. Like they well, call them leg the quarters. Up, the upgraded thigh. Right. Yeah. It's got a you leg go to in. Wegmans. Yeah. But like, I love a chicken thigh. Me like too, man. Oh, yeah. Always tender. So good. You throw it in a but crock cro- pot. I'm just about to say man. that, dude. Chicken thighs in a crock pot, that smack your mama. It's but I'm saying, even every time. the barbecue world, they don't ever mess with a breast. No. Yeah, they no. do everything thigh. If you yeah. watch any barbecue competition... Thigh. For sure. I fell into that for the longest time where I would go to like like Popeyes or KFC and like I'd be like they'd be like white or dark and the dark's less. So I'd be like, well, let me get the white. And then like after a little while, I was like, what am I doing? Yeah. Because like this other stuff's better and it's cheaper. It's one of the few things like that works out like that yeah. in, in America. Like that, that's just solving first world problems. Yeah. See? Uh, for sure. We're discussing them. We are. We are discussing them. I do have a deli. Okay. There are, there are, there, you'll see four beers sitting on top of a box. This is an interesting one. Oh, yeah. I don't need a whole one. You might. Uh, <laughs> well, let's see. Well, here, you can pour it in a cup. I'll go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll set you up with a cup, but in case you want it, just because... So just go ahead, pour what you want in there. I'm sure I'll, I can get around to drinking. I that. mean, it's a seltzer, and you know, You'll be, I'm fruity as fuck. It's lighter than tequila. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll manage. Yeah. yeah. So this is a hard seltzer. It's called. What does this say on the front? So this is Happy Dad Seltzer and Death Row Records. Oh, oh hell shit. yeah! I'm down. What flavor is that? Uh, like we always do at this time. <laughs> yeah. I think this is malt liquor flavor, but let me see. No, it's it's worse. It's, 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 it's grape. Grape flavor? Hell yeah. Dude. 
Death Row Records. Grape drink. Is this grape drink? <laughs> so check this out. This I'm, is a grape drink seltzer. I'm walking through the Publix, and I walk by, and I see, oh. I see Happy Dad Seltzer. And I'm like, lame. And then I see Death Row Records on one of the boxes, and I go. Immediately in your car. Oh, wait. <laughs> Death Row Records. That sounds really cool. So then I start looking. Sorry, I'm sorry. I totally blacked out. Where did you say you found this? Publix. Okay. Ironically, I was in Publix this evening and I saw the Happy Dads. I was like, "Really? What is that nerd drink?" Like, yeah. So I did I, not see the Death Row Records. So I lo- I walk through. They've got a mix pack. They got all these other flavors, none of which say Death Row Records on them. But there's one 12 pack I see sitting there it says Death Row Records, and I'm like. Oh, I wonder why that one says Death Row. And then I pick it up, and I'm looking at it. The variety pack doesn't say Death Row. The lemon lime doesn't say Death Row. It said something about, like, mom or something on one of them. Are you going to tell me that the grape is the only Death Row? The only flavor that is sponsored by Death Row Records (laughs) is is grape. We got purple drink seltzer. Scissor. Yeah. Purple drink. I mean... If it wasn't for Suge Knight putting it out there, I could say this is borderline racist. No, 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 no. It's awesome. But I'm actually this like, is great. this is genius. This is Grey Part Seltzer sponsored by Suge Knight and his band of merry men. I've already got half a beer gone. Well, I was like, I'm not going to drink it all. Speaking of scissor or whatever they call it, this has a you very, nailed it. Scissor. <laughs> this yeah. has a very Dimatab. It like, does. Taste it's to that it. grape drink flavor. Yes. Oh yeah, no. This tastes exactly like it should. Now that I've had it, yeah. This tastes precisely. But well. I like that it doesn't have a grapey aftertaste though. No. It's no. just in the f- aroma. You know what I mean? It's like uh, bubbly or some shit where yeah. it's like there's just a, a grape fart in it. You know what I mean? What the fuck is that? This is. I mean, on a hot summer day, you would chug this thing like nobody's Oh, business. I'm going to be chugging these on fucking Saturday. You can almost bank on it. It For, says death I've already row, taken bitches. the picture. That's right. I've already taken a picture of it, and I'm going to be hunting Publix in a few days. Yes, the fact that it says death row records on it, yeah. I couldn't walk past it. And boom. We were just in the Outer Banks, and we were, like, hunting seltzers. So it's, like, our thing right now, like, new, different. Because everybody's making a new one of these, you know what I mean? Some generic brands. They're all over the place. And so this one will be on the list. Oh, yeah. Waterbird makes pretty decent seltzer. Really? You had those? No. Everybody makes a seltzer. But I'm saying they're pretty. They're out of Charlottesville. They're pretty good. Okay. They, they got a grape one transfusion. Waterbird? Yeah, I believe it's Waterbird. Okay. So the things you got to know, because we're dealing in the seltzer world, you're looking at 100 calories. But nothing else. You're looking at two carbs, one gram of sugar, oh. so mad light, and 5% alcohol. That's perfect, 5%. It says yeah. Happy Dad and says Death Row Records on it, and it is grape flavor. That's awesome. I can tell you going in, I wanted to like it because I clearly should have Death Row Records in my hand because I'm from the streets. Oh, yeah, Chicago. Clearly. Everybody knows that. I'd be the guy that Suge Knight would be hanging over the edge of the building. <laughs> but either way, I'm still with Suge Knight hanging out. Yeah. Yeah. This is fucking crazy. And I love that they just were like, oh, yeah, we'd be glad to sponsor your seltzer. It's got to be grape drink, and we want a cut. And the they're like, throat cut. for sure. Would you have, I would never have bought Happy Dad seltzer. I think they're just, they're trying to be cheesy, doing the whole Happy Dad thing. I'm like, this is lame. The Death Row gave it immediate street cred for me. Oh, yeah. Who is Happy Dad? I don't know shit about them. Do you? No, they just showed up. They had a whole, like a whole stack of them they said happy dad like what's the fucking yeah brewery? i saw it on the corner i didn't even see it is it in the fridge because it was like on it's the, not in the fridge yeah i saw it on the corner of the aisle it just says happy com. oh wow so it's a whole new okay yeah it doesn't really have a uh a brewery that i can see it's just happy well dad. when you partner com. with death row it gives you some cred to get <laughs> into Publix, right <laughs> yeah. that's what i'm saying i immediately but i would have walked past it there's another one out there called like uh Mom water. Okay. And mom water doesn't have any sparkle to it. Does this have sparkle? Yes, it yeah, definitely yeah, does. Yeah, it does. Okay. Do you, I, it's light. How do you feel about the marketing behind mom water? It's kind of funny. So they have they have names on them. No, but I mean, like, don't you feel like like targeting half of the population sucks? Well, yeah. Look at Happy Dad. I think they did the same thing. Like you've only targeted yeah. half the population, so you're like you're going after a niche. 
But the mom waters have no bubbles. They go down like water. And that's weird. They name I can see like, that being awesome, though. I want to try one. They name them like Julie, Linda. Come on, man. Karen. No, yeah, please. They, oh, for no. sure. The Karen one's got to be disgusting, though. Yeah, yeah. So like the Malort flavor. Yeah. No, yeah. so my wife went out and bought a 12 pack, and they have a Karen flavor. Okay. And the Karen flavor is blueberry lemon. All right. And I've tried them all. And Karen is fucking awful. It's really? got an aftertaste. Everybody knows that. No, yeah. but so like she and her friends tried them all, and everybody was like, ooh, I can't even finish the Karen. I couldn't finish the Karen. But I mean, the concept, though, without the bubbles is like, it's good? It's like juice? No, it's like just... Water. It's like flavored water. You don't know there's booze in it. It'll fuck you up. It's very interesting. Hmm. I could see that being appealing because I don't have the burps and the bubble guts yeah. and the fucking. Well, this is lightly like a vitamin water, basically with alcohol. Yeah, exactly. Like a gator, like a fucking Gatorade or something with but alcohol in it. Everybody agrees that the Karen tastes bad. Did they intentionally make put it a, taste bad? Put a bomb in there, like that would make me like them more. Would it make you you like them more? I haven't had a single person say that they w- would even finish the Karen. That's hilarious. But, I mean, you've said on this podcast you've never really found a blueberry drink that you feel is good. It is very difficult. So maybe that's why they went. But funny enough, when you said blueberry lemon, I was like, ooh, I could see that being a good combo. No, I told my wife, I said, you're crazy. Let me get that Karen. Yeah. And I took a sip and was like, oh, my God. It left an aftertaste that was god awful. Almost like they intentionally fucked it up. I hope they did. So That would be awesome. Yeah, they put a bomb in every 12-pack. Three little bombs. Yeah. And then everyone goes, fuck Karen. And uh-huh. everyone laughs. And then they go buy more. If they did, it's Because their slogan should be like, the Karen ruins everything. Yeah. Like, there should be one Karen in the 12-pack, and Karen ruins the whole fucking 12-pack. That would be a that cool be, slogan. That would be And I mean, you kind of yeah. haze the drinkers around you to exactly. drink the Karen. Yeah, have yeah. the Karen, bitch. Yeah. Right. They have to drink the <laughs> yeah. Karen. Somebody has to drink the yeah. Karen. Who gets the Karen Exactly. Tonight? It's pretty funny. Just yeah. like, happy dad. They put a they put a W and it, they sell this by the twelve pack. I don't have to buy some mix pack to get my death row. All right, can I give a review on this? this? Yeah, please do. Yeah, um, I love everything about it except the grape. I'm not a like the fucking diamond tap flavor. I don't like that shit. Yeah, like. I love the concept. I love the flavor. I love the, like that it's not too sweet. I love everything about it. I don't like the grape flavor. Well, it's so, Jolly Rancher grape. Well, whatever the fuck it is, it's grape. I don't like the grape flavor. The only grape I like is Big League Chew. That shit's fucking amazing. That's Ooh, best fire. flavor out there, yes. by the way, of Big a League good Chew. Day. Yeah, everybody knows that. Damn. Even my fucking thirteen year old. We yeah. go through, we go through dicks. He's like, "There's the grape there." I'm like, <laughs> "Yeah, yeah. Get some of that shit." <laughs> it is like. Overly juicy. It somehow. is it's amazing. amazing. <laughs> yes, um, but no, I don't. I just I'll give it a. Uh, um, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a. I guess compared to beers and everything, I'll still do a three and a half. I yeah. was I was gonna say, you'll buy this. I will buy a different flavor, but you'll buy Happy Dad. Yeah, for sure. Just not great. Right. No, he'll buy grape because it says death row just to give to somebody else. Yes. So. I mean, I'll drink one, yeah, but, but it's going to be the last saying? one in the 12 pack yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. If death row is in the variety pack, you're going variety pack. I don't know. You mean grape. You're saying grape, right? The only flavor that's sponsored by death row is grape. <laughs> Which is fucking hilarious. <laughs> Which is crazy, right? It is funny. That's what I'm saying. I think he'll buy the death row. Yeah, individually, yes. just to give it to somebody to be like, how yeah. awesome! But I think if it's in the variety pack, oh, yeah. I'm still going to get it. Yeah. Yes, I agree. Now I kind of want to look. Up I think this is a good added. seltzer, just on its own. So I think I mean I'm just going to go in, Brendan, because you're looking at something. But I, I'll say a three because it does have like that cough syrupy taste to yeah, it. Yeah. But it doesn't have a big aftertaste, so I would say it's drinkable. Which I like. Yeah, right. That's something like that, that sucks too. about seltzers is like yeah. there's two. Tangy and yeah. sweet. You know so I, mean? I, I, I can only drink one. This yeah. is like a LaCroix or a fucking bubbly right. that I could drink 50 of them yeah, fuckers. exactly. Yeah. So I would say if it wasn't, I do like grape, but it has that cough syrup taste to but it. But isn't it, think about it though, like it's hard to make a grape flavor that's not cough syrup. 
All right, so the happy, yeah, dad, true. the happy Dad variety pack has lemon, lime, wild cherry, watermelon, and pineapple. Boom, boom, and boom. I mean, on yeah, all those. Yeah. And these have electrolytes in them, so you don't oh, get hungry. Everybody knows. Genius. Yeah, and Brondo. That's... So this is essentially the Borg of uh, seltzers. Yes. I'm very intrigued by this thing, man. Happy- was that a uh, variety pack at the store? It was. Okay. It was. I'm just trying to figure out if maybe this is like, oh, God, they got Happy Dad Death Row shirts for sale. That's what? awesome. Oh, That's what I was awesome. going to say. That's the immediate one you should have. Partners with Snoop Dogg's Death Row Records to bring you a light and refreshing grape seltzer. Of course. That's what I'm talking about. Do you think it's a... Oh, here's an interesting question that I think they might have fucked up on. Don't you think putting Snoop's name on here would have been better? No. Really? I think Snoop is becoming... It doesn't have the the cachet. Death Row has more street cred. That's what I'm saying. Snoop has become Martha Stewart. He's had his, he has his own. I'm not wine. saying you get rid of Death Row. I'm saying adding Snoop on here. Why wouldn't Snoop be on here? I mean, if you put like a silhouette of Snoop's head, like that I can would tell be awesome. Snoop. Yeah, yeah, I agree. With like that. the only people take the percentage of people that know Snoop compared to the percentage That's of people true. that know Death Row. Like you want to hit the fucking both groups. Yeah, I, I I know what you're saying, but I gravitated towards the death row more than I would. If this had just said Snoop. No, if it had said death row with a silhouette of Snoop, you would have been just as, if not more, pumped. Yes, but I'm saying, here's what I'm saying. If if I had walked up and it said, happy dad, and then it just said, like, Snoop Dogg, grape flavor, and then death row records, grape flavor, I'm more excited to see death row than I am to see Snoop. Because, just because Snoop's all, all over the place. He's so commercial now. Like, we literally subscribe to a, a thing that's called Marley Spoon, and it's Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg yeah. who are, like, doing, like, like Home Chef type stuff. Nice. And it shows up every time. And, like, so he's in my kitchen. He's hanging out with Martha Stewart. Yeah, he's, he he's got his own wine. He's got his own 19 Crimes wine and all oh, that yeah, stuff. Oh, yeah, that's right. He does. So, like, I like that they went with Death Row because Death Row is a legitimate throwback that, like, everybody knows who Snoop is. Not everybody knows who Death Row is. It has a certain amount of street cred. Right, but that street cred is not good for, is like, not helping sales. I bought it. I know what you're saying. It's not. It, In the grand it's, scheme. It's more of a niche for a certain You would have still bought it. It's a lot easier to mass market with Snoop yes. than it is with Death Row. Or just a fucking silhouette of him saying grape sizzle flavor yeah. or something. You know yeah, what I mean? Oh, if yeah. Yeah. Grape sizzle. Grape sizzle. Yeah, yeah, like, I mean, look, yeah. granted, I still probably would have bought it. <laughs> yeah, that yes. would have been awesome. Exactly. So what do, you, what do you give this? Because right now, the amount of fuckers that are walking by that in the store that have no idea yeah. that Death Row is what it is or that it has anything to do with Snoop. Right. When I was checking out, I, I like... I brought it up and I put it across and I was like, death row seltzer. And the gal goes, you got to be kidding me. She was like, what? And I was like, and it's great flavor. And she was like, no way. She was like, I'm buying a 12 pack today. Nice. So the checkout girl knew what was up and she was younger How old than was me. She? Really? She was definitely younger than Interesting. me. Interesting. Well, Snoop bought death row like last year, right? I didn't even know he had done that. Yeah. Last year. So Suge is out. Two years ago. Something like that. Yeah. Suge's yeah. locked up. Yeah. Suge's a fucking drunk. You watch like Bitch, you're a drunk. Yeah, but not like <laughs> not like not like Suge. Suge's a different level. I watched some something like a documentary on him to, not not too long ago. This motherfucker's driving in his Mercedes, giving the interview, pulls over, starts throwing up everywhere outside of the car. Gets back in the car, wiping the puke off his mouth, and goes back to slurring and giving the interview driving. And I'm like, fuck. I mean, he man. honestly might be back in prison for something dumb like that. Because I think Likely. Cal- California has like a three strikes and yeah. stuff. So even uh, though he's probably murdered 15 people in his day. Yeah. He's clearly got more than three strikes. But if I'm going to give this a score, the Happy Dad Hard Seltzer, Death Row Records, Grape Flavor, I kind of agree with you, Ely. The grape is a little off because it is like that Jolly Rancher grape. But that Jolly Rancher grape also tastes like every shitty purple grape. stuff. Yeah, there's no other way to do grape, grape I feel drink. like. That's why all grape sucks. 
Other than Big League Chew. I'm literally wrestling between a three and a half and a four, and I think I'm completely like sucked into the whole death row. I love the fact that it tastes like shitty grape and not real grape. Yeah. I actually like that it's horrible. Yeah. Like you, see, you, you see yourself on the, sitting on the corner pouring some of this out for your homies and shit. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Yeah, like this should be... If they, if they yeah. sold this in 22s, <laughs> I would buy this all you the brown time. brown bag it? Hell yeah. Yeah, he would. Sitting there sipping the... In fact, if this wasn't a tall boy, yeah, like if I could buy this individually, and, I, and now that I say it, let's fast forward three months. I guarantee you start seeing Happy Dad, Great Death Row, and the tall boys in the stores. Yes. When they put it in a tall boy, it's a four. As it sits... Oh, and let's not forget the fact... That it's the first hard seltzer in a regular size can. It's not a slim can. Ooh, good call. No, I've been drinking regular ones for fucking all week last week. Yeah, they do make them. Who makes them? I don't know. Waterbird makes them in the can. I respect that it's in a fat short. Yeah, can. I do too. I like that. I don't want these. Totally slim agree. Ones. That's yeah. a. Yeah. You bring up a really good point. They need to fucking squash that shit literally. Yeah. No shit. You That's know how I mean? you know it's for chicks. Yeah. So I'm going, I'm... Like, they've even made koozie. They, they've changed the koozie game and shit, yeah, They man. had to. They fucked it all yeah. up. Like, I don't have time for this. Now I got to carry two different koozies. Right. I don't know what I'm going to Fucking handed, killing me. Yeah. Pissing me bullshit. off. Yeah. Or then, or else you carry around like your koozie looks like a blown out goon. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's horrible. It's the worst. Yeah. All right. So now that I've said all that, this is not a four. I'm giving it a four. <laughs> okay. So it's, it's a bad drink. Wait a minute. I what did you it. give it? Three? I, I give it yeah, a three. Yeah so it is netting We're out over. at a three and a half. No, yeah. it's just there. It doesn't. It has to get over three and a half to oh, get a okay. deli, All right. which is exactly where this probably should net out. Is a three and a half. I feel like it's fucking weird that the death row seltzer didn't win a deli. I'm a little. I tried. I gave it a four. I, I brought it down. Yeah. I gave it a four. I'm a happy dad. I think the younger kids will be drinking this shit because they know about past music. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. 18, 19 year olds, this will be be getting drank at While we're doing seltzer talk, there's a new seltzer on the game. Just showed up. And it's got a lot of buzz. And they're coming right in the Bud Light scandal. But they're going like, they're going the other direction. It's called Gay Water. And it is going to blow the fuck up in its own little niche world. Mm -hmm. Gay Water is unapologetically the gayest hard seltzer you've ever seen. They're talking about have six inches of fun, get this in your mouth right now, (laughs) all over the website. (laughs) It is unapologetically the most flamboyantly gay drink. They're going to sell hundreds of those. Do you think that they're not going to sell these in certain areas around the country like crazy? I mean, if you're trying to create a beverage that's going to be successful, you're doing the wrong thing. Just looking at percentages of the population. Oh, no, but they're going against. Yes, clearly. But I want you to go check so out. You're agreeing it's not a good idea. Like, it's not going to just on the percentages of people that are into that. He look thinks at, it's going to blow up. Though, no, right? All right. So look at this. When you go to the website, the first thing it does is sign up. Hole. It says fill our hole. So they want you to enter your email address right here. Yeah. It says Come in. We're open. C-U-M. This yeah, is- I don't know that you, you didn't, you are not positioned, you're not, you're selling this wrong. Like, you think that's going to blow think, up. You're fucking crazy. I think it's going to get more press because there's a lot of people who are going to freak the fuck out. You're looking at this whole Bud Light universe. It is a vodka soda. Look, it says, enjoy 6.1 inches tonight. This is unapologetically the gayest thing. Hi, gay. Means happy. No, I don't agree. So, I, so I, if it was just unapolog- unapologetically gay, I would agree with you. But because it's being vulgar, it's not going to get what you think it's going to get. So that was actually my question. Like, I was looking at it, and I was like, if they were just like... Fill my hole? Like, it's too even, much, right? It's even too much. fucking 50-year-old, hard left-leaning people that support everything about that are going to be like, Jesus fucking Christ, man, give me a break. Yeah, it's porn. It's over the top. It is over the top. Yeah. They should have trimmed that down, and they would have fucking sold a shit ton. So I think, though, that they're trying to do this to just really get it out, right? Like, get it out into the public. Because it's only available in certain states, and I guarantee you there's going to be certain states that will never even let this get distributed into it. 
Which don't you think that will? You give think it, that's like a purpose thing, though? I think they're trying to be so over the top that like Florida goes, "Fuck you, you're not, you're not distributing." And then it causes that a thing that it creates enough ripple that people start talking about it that it becomes a, a, a pivot point. I like mean, people, yeah, people start arguing about it. People start fighting. But about do you it. think you could actually keep it from getting into a state? Yes. Why? I mean, we just it, don't allow distribution of that drink here. But that would be is that uh, is that a state choice though, or is yeah, that on the I'm distributors? Saying. That's a distributor. It'd be choice, on the distributors, right? but those are the mafia. So all of a sudden, a state like let's use Florida as the example. Yeah. Florida could say, "You want that distributor license, right? Like I don't have to right, honor yeah, your they, distributor license. Right, right. You're right. not bringing gay water into my state. I think they want this to become a flashpoint, and they're going way over the top with what they're doing. I mean, yeah, to the they're point fucking that it's up. like. It's, it's like, well, but if I it's think a flashpoint, you're going to be limited. So you're saying that you're going to create such a buzz. People are going to be like, can I buy that from this state or this state? Ship it in right now. They're shipping and they can only ship to like 15 states. I think they're already creating intentionally. They're trying to get in the news. They're trying to get banned for sure. They uh, want to uh, be canceled. They want to be canceled so damn bad. Yeah. That everyone starts talking about it. So that we buy that's it, so we most, can try it and get it out there. It's the most over-the-top website. It's, it's just because that's what people are talking about. That's yeah. what they want. Because you got to think, how much do you really need to sell to make a million dollars? Probably not a ton. You just need to get into certain places. Yeah, if that's your goal. If your goal is, let me just get a solid return on what I'm putting in, then that's, I see that. But I if you're like, I'm trying to make a like household name no. seltzer magnate, then no. You can't. You can't have stuff like that. Enjoy, that's my point. Enjoy 6.1 inches tonight. Come fill our hole. Like, you can't. But that's like a one-hit wonder. Like, maybe you get it, and then you're never, you think it's funny, and you're never going to buy it again because it's ridiculous. But maybe, that's, maybe that's it, right? Yeah, but I just feel like the percentage of the population that is into that is very small. Yeah, Extremely I agree. Extremely small. But yeah. how much do you really need to make to make a lot of money? Like, if I only make... 50,000 cases a year, but I can sell those 50,000 no, cases No, I'm agreeing with you day. with the idea that they're going to, like, blow up and be national. They I don't see that. They can't blow up and be national. Right. They're too divisive. Yes, they're going to create 100%. a problem. They're intentionally going to be a problem. Uh, yeah. And that was the first thing I saw, because, like, I saw an article about it that was, like, this new drink, in, the, in light of the Bud Light scandal, is really pushing the boundaries on the other side. And so I clicked on it. I was like, gay water? And then I looked at the website and I was like, oh, fuck, you're way over the line. Yeah. Like, this is crazy. So where do right now do they have distribution? Do you know? It's only a certain states. Let me see. I mean, I can probably name them. My, my cookies are going <laughs> to go nuts. 35 states. Oh, 35? Yeah. Interesting. Definitely not Florida. I do find that interesting. That's a lot. Yeah, that is a lot. Definitely not Virginia. Look at you, Texas. Interesting. Yeah, Arkansas, kind of shocking there. <laughs> but That's mostly, really shocking. otherwise, otherwise you're, looking, you're looking straight down blue lines. If you want to break it down, 35 states. I mean, they could be claiming the state, though, but they're in one convenience right, store right. in the fucking yuppiest place of the yeah. part of the oh, state. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But those are the places that are like, can I get distribution? Can I get right. it here? I mean, that would do great in Miami, right? I mean, there's a population there that it would serve. Florida doesn't have this shit. Really? Yeah, Florida doesn't have it. Virginia doesn't have it. Yeah. Interesting. A lot of flyover states don't have it. But California's got it in every <laughs> elementary school. <laughs> That's right. In, yeah, in many fridges across the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's it's in good. juice boxes over there. <laughs> Gay water light. There's no alcohol. Yeah. There's little plastic straws and yeah. little know. penis on the top. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. right. I just think this stuff's fantastic. Like this, this, I like I like seeing marketing like this. Like they're going after a niche. They're going to hit it hard. They're going to see if they can make a million dollars and then cash out. There's no longevity in this. Yeah, no. No. But if you could get like a three year run, you can make enough money to go to Ibiza. Ibiza? Ibiza. Ibiza. Yeah. yeah. yeah but it, don't they say Ibiza? I don't know. They might, but I don't. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, see, I'm trying. There's a fucking, <laughs> yeah. It's spelled with a Z. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But the rich call it Ibiza. Just because you say it fucking wrong. Yeah. That's an interesting question, though. Like, so 
You remember Joe, Italian Joe? Yeah. Okay. So Hispanic Joe? Yeah, Cuban Joe. You get it. Yeah. Great swimmer. (laughs) Makes boats. Hey. Can I get another drink of any kind? Um, But he's always like, you know, on the on the concept of the whole language and how you say things. Like he's like, Ricotta's Ragotha, and this is how we say it in Italy. And I'm like, I think that's just because like if you can like slowly think about how it happened, it's like it's ricotta, 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 ricotta. Yeah, yeah. And over time it becomes ricotta, but you believe that it's really ricotta? No, it's because they all started sl- like slurring it and saying it fucked up over a fucking a hundred years. That doesn't mean it's really my, ricotta. My it means, aunt will only say ricotta. Yeah, she had that, and she like. But that makes sense me. to me because I can see that's just like an accent on the way that it's spelled. But if yeah. you're like it's ragotha. It's fucking not Ragotha, bitch. There's not a G. Right. Just because that your fat-lipped uncle was saying it that way for fucking ever <laughs> yeah, doesn't gabagool. mean right. That's not the like. It's Capicola. That's not what it's right. Exactly. <laughs> Sound the motherfucker out. Like I get that there's a little bit of inference and tone that you put into it because of the culture, but don't try to tell me that's what it is. That ain't what the fuck it is. You know what I mean? There is a Z in a, in, in Ibiza. Yes. I mean I get it, but. We say Ibiza. All the rich fuckers say Ibiza. Yeah, And I'm they like, do. well, I've never been. Right, <laughs> so exactly. Maybe, but maybe you're oh, right. I want to take a pill there. I would take a pill in Ibiza. Right. I bet more pills are consumed in Ibiza. Just <laughs> that, anywhere right. else. Is the celebrity Mike Tyson that you're talking about? Is he saying <laughs> like that? What the fuck are we doing here? <laughs> Abitha. 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 <laughs> well, Tyson said it. He's got more exactly. money than me. Right. Brendan saw a fucking interview with Tyson. He's like, I've been to Abitha. He's like, yeah. all celebrities oh, say it like that. That's how everybody sounds like <laughs> I almost sounded that's stupid. Right. <laughs> now I get it. Yeah. I'm gonna that's hilarious. pet my tiger and talk about Abitha. That's right. <laughs> that kills me. Yeah. Good old Abitha. It is funny how that's we the first do time that. I've ever heard anybody say that. Me too. I mean, never. It's always been a visa. Yeah. That's interesting. Dirty uh-huh. poor Americans, right? The shanty, oh, shanty the town motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's a visa. Yeah, I can't. Just... I want to wear like 18th century uh, garb when we take for VIP for this shit so we can look down on the peasants in the GA. Is that bad to do? When we go to the festival? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we should wear powdered wigs and shit and look down at the fucking plebs and throw our popcorn on them. Is that fucking crazy? I feel like that would be hilarious. I've never intentionally gone out of my way to be. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to, but I just. Have you seen that meme with a dude who's dressed in that shit and he's just looking down his nose? I just picture that as the VIP section. Let's get linen sport coats. Yeah. <laughs> and just wear them the whole time. Just so I people want truffle know. white shit coming out of my top jacket. I'm li- so. And maybe even white fur, white wigs. So you're speaking of the Ocean's Calling Music Festival, yeah. which is literally at the beach. So it's the worst place to wear a powdered wig. Yeah, but you guys have got practice in, right? You've been sweating. <laughs> yeah, but at I, scandals. I kind of, I kind of wonder if we should tux it up. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like the leather. monopoly guy. Can we wear bon- monocles? Monocles. Let's wear bon- pat- <laughs> patent leather shoes. Yes, wingtips. The whole nine. And just stand on the other side. Of the VIP line, yeah. so that everyone back there can see. Can you. we throw breadcrumbs down <laughs> and shit too? I feel opposed. like that would be great. I'm not at least for one day. I'm not opposed to this. Or at least for maybe fifteen minutes, and then we'll take it off because we're not assholes. <laughs> you guys aren't welcome over here in a beta. Exactly. <laughs> <Abita. laughs> oh, it could be bad if I start getting drunk there, though, because I could see me being like, you know, how's the view down there? You know what I mean? Peasants. Exactly. <laughs> right. Bring out your dead. Surfs. Yeah, I'm not quite dead yet. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally coming out of the conversation where we admitted we were the poor folks sleeping on the beach. Exactly. And I bought a glorified jet ski as a boat just so I can be around them. Yeah. I don't think I belong in Ibiza. None of us do. Or in the VIP. But you belong I want to go to fucking Monaco, dude, for the Grand Prix. Like, that's, like, the dopest place to ever go. Monaco sucks the worst. It just costs a shit ton of money. And everything, there's not an inch of earth. It's all just concrete. City. And city. Yeah. So I have a friend 
who actually married a woman from Monaco. Really? And he's that a, sucks. He's a French citizen. Okay. So he lives in Monaco with his wife. And he literally cannot get a job. Because they will not give a job to anybody who's not from Monaco. Really? Like, it's like a fucking caste system over there. Wow. They will take the dumbest person from Monaco yeah. and put them in a role versus a highly qualified person from anywhere else. Wow. Because they are so... Well, I don't know. What, what's the word I'm Homogeneous? looking for? Homogeneous? They're just so... Yeah, they just... You know, they just want to... It's all about Monaco. Yeah. You know, nationalistic, nationalistic. Yeah. Is what yeah. They're so nationalistic that they will only support other people from Monaco uh. because they don't want all these other people here because they're so overcrowded. Build a wall. Everything <laughs> is just high rises. Yeah. And nothing. So I was in my old house and he and his wife came over from Monaco to visit and he was blown away. And if you remember my old yard at my old house had an asphalt driveway oh, through yeah. the backyard. Yeah. But I had a garden. Smaller than the pallet house, just a little spit of land where I had tomatoes growing and basil. And he was like, I can't believe we're going to actually eat tomatoes from your soil. He's like, this is amazing. He lives in a concrete jungle. Oh, and people yeah. celebrate Monaco. Like, it's this amazing place. And he was bragging on the fact that he had a planter's box hanging off his deck, like, in his high rise. Yeah, yeah. And he was so happy that he had just little herbs. Right. Because they have nothing. And Monaco gets celebrated like it's this amazing place. It sounds brutal. To and live. I want to go to the Grand Prix because that sounds fucking amazing. Even though I don't have a big boat to go hang out on because that's where it all really seems right. cool. Everybody, all the dope boats are there. But you could take your uh, pontoon. It. I could tune <laughs> that it, yeah. Would be awesome. Park it in between that some 75 foot yachts. Yeah. Come across the ocean and that thing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys. Keep in mind, it is a yeah. tri-tune. It can do it. Exactly. You just got to trim the engine up. Trim Everybody knows death that. road, diamond tap. <laughs> Tequila impaired bay bottles. Yes. Yeah, we'll bring a couple for that yeah. trip. <laughs> the more you say it, the more I think this is actually an attainable goal. I agree. <laughs> yeah. I think you should do it. We should do it? Yeah. I should do it. Said, Are you, you backing out? It. He's backing yeah, out already. Yeah, he, he doesn't oh, want to. I didn't realize I was invited. You might not be. Are we inviting him? <laughs> Yeah, well, okay, you're in, sure. you're in. Fuck but it's yeah. gonna be Parrot Bay and tequila, though. <laughs> yeah, I can nut up. Okay. I just need a little training. All right, I need to wean myself off of the Malort exactly and work towards the tequila. Okay. Strange thing. Are you drinking to me. Malort regularly? No, but okay. I, I have that bottle out to go. Things. That bottle's out. It's because been I'm, sealed for six months, right? Well, I'm taking that to the lake this weekend. Oh, okay. I, Why? Because I found out that nobody on that trip has ever had Malort. Yeah, yeah, you got to take that. So I interrupted you. You said you something else. You were going to go on a tangent. Good talk. <laughs> so, <laughs> Malort. Yes. Lost I did have a tangent. I had a whole direction. I had like yeah. this thing. It was bubbling. It was creating in my mind. Uh -huh. It's funny how that stuff happens. It does. Well, you, oh, I know what it was. I came home after that trip. I don't like tequila, but there was something about sipping tequila on a beach. It actually... It kind of hit a nerve. As a me. castaway. And yeah, when exactly. I came, when I came home, my wife was like, I want to go out and get drinks. And the first thing I did is ordered a Paloma. Yeah. And I enjoyed the shit out of it with yeah. this tequila. And then last weekend, I made myself a ranch water. And I thought, now that's a refreshing tequila drink. You, you did Those are the something. ones that I have been drinking at the beach, the ranch waters. They're so good. Yeah. You did something... In that moment, I've never had tequila presented to me where I'm standing on a beach and tasted it. I think I finally got it. You opened a wormhole. I there have been drinking some, some, some tequilas, and my wife... I've been drinking the fuck out of it, dude. Like, I, and I never really drank it other than in a margarita. And like, I didn't know I've it was good. I've been going down a rabbit hole hard. So what's your, like what's your margaritas. tequila? Just Is it a, a tequila that you certain like or um, certain? I just do like... Either like Patron or eighteen hundred silver. So something decent. Yeah, decent. Okay. But we do have Clooney the fucking. Uh, oh yeah, I have one of those. Is this compadres or yeah, something like that. That stuff is fantastic. What is the? Do you, do you like a clear tequila? I do. Yeah, yeah I prefer over like a yeah brown one. Yeah, I like the middle. Okay. They have the añejo, the reposado, and the. 
something else. But but there's one in that's in the middle. It's been aged like a, a little bit, so it what, has like, like a, a bourbon barrel or something. No, it just has like one is super dark, right? And one's a little dark, a little and one's yellow, clear. and then one's I like the one. So really I have this one, the Reposado, the Añejo. Dude, so it's, this that's shit. just an ad. Yeah, you got ten dollars oh. off. Yeah, ten dollars off. Wow, that's <laughs> awesome. So this yeah, bottle right here, fancy. have you yeah. seen? So this is like a handmade Mexican bottle with a bunch of cool shit on it. And so have you ever seen the TikTok where the guy's like, what's your apartment cost in New York? Show yeah, it to yeah. me. And he goes and fucking walks around the apartment with the person. Well, they found Scarlett Johansson. And she was like, I'm not going to show you my house, but I'll show you my office. And in her office, like behind her desk was that bottle. Oh, okay. And Angel's like, that fucking bottle's amazing. I mean, that looks like a vase. Yeah, it's amazing. They're handmade. And so I'm like, in the Urbana ABC store, and the fuckers are in there. And I'm like, I'm buying one of those. It was 180 bucks, But Woo. I bought it. That shit was so fucking good, dude. Like, Better than Hemador? Yeah. Yeah, I would presume so. Yeah. What, $180 a bottle? It better be good. But right? Oh, it was amazing. But, like, we'll keep the bottle. You keep buying it. Part of it's for the bottle. bottle keep yeah, the bottle. Yeah. Fill it up with some other bullshit. Yeah. You know what I mean? After the fact. Hemador is the lowest price point for 100% agave. And that's why it's the number one selling tequila in Mexico. Yeah. And once I learned that, that became my, like, house tequila. Yeah, what, weren't you putting jalapenos in it or something? Yes. that's the that's one, awesome. That's the one I like to soak the jalapenos in. And then, so basically. I need to start soaking jalapenos in my tequila. Yeah, that's basically, genius. I get a vessel. I pour the tequila in. But that's why I use Hemador, because at least it's 100% agave. Yeah. I pour that in. I cut up, like, two or three jalapenos, soak it for 48 hours. I strain it back through a coffee filter back into the bottle. And then that's, yeah. that's Hemador. My spicy humidor, and it's phenomenal. Yeah, I love that shit. So are you are you drinking it on the rocks now? Like no, or, I'll just shoot it. Okay, really. I bet that or, stuff you can drink on. Yes, the Yes, you can. Yeah, for sure. Because I think that's the thing in Mexico. That's but I typically hot. literally just drink it normally, just like, like <laughs> we were drinking it. <laughs> like, ooh, I'll take a shot. Meathead. Or no, <laughs> honestly, uh, actually, that's not true. So ABC stores have margarita mix that is zero sugar with like it's like you know. Just like everybody else these days has some right. artificial sweetener in it, sucralose or something. Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking heavenly. And I wake up because there's been no sugar in my shit that I've been drinking. I feel amazing. Feel better. Yeah. yeah so yeah, I've been yeah. drinking a lot of margaritas with that zero sugar mix. So I and think, then like in between, I'll hit a shot. That's kind of so my thing. So it's like a clean. You're clean. You feel yeah, clean. Yeah, I do. I think my problem has always been that tequila to me is margaritas, which I don't like the sour mix in it. So funny enough. The way to deal with that, and that's a great point. A lot of margaritas are too sweet, sour. Sweet and sour, You add yeah. water in with your tequila before you put the mix in, and it makes it way more Just mellow, t- palatable. Yeah. As so opposed to bittery and puckery. Whenever I get a margarita, it's all it's like super sweet, super yeah. sour. So I'm I like, totally agree. Yeah, I don't like this. And then every other time I get tequila, it's one in the morning, and some asshole buys me a shot, yeah. and then I'm like, oh, I regret this. So, but when I had it out there that day, the tequila was good. The setting was right. I think you're like toes and feet being connected to the sand. It changed oh, it. Yeah, it did. It something. opened. It Flipped opened the switch a, in it your opened brain. A door, right. And I was like, okay, I can, I can deal with this. And now since then, I've been drinking. Well, also on that same day, someone gave me a ranch water. Yeah. That was made proper with good tequila. And I was like, this is really refreshing. That's right. The Topo Chico. He bottled it in a Topo Chico, which was oh, really? pretty cool. Yeah. He squeezed the lime juice in it, yeah. put a shot of good tequila in it, and then put a top on him, and then fr- got that him cold. Dan, and then the hit, yeah, yeah. That's Dan awesome. Him up, and I was like, I've had two tequila drinks today that I really enjoyed. And it just kind yeah. of it opened a door. I think what I need is to just not have margaritas and not have bad tequila shots. Yeah. I think tequila can be really, really good. For sure. It just needs to be... I can't have it forced on me, yeah, and I can't have bullshit on it. Go like morning brunch, tequila sunrise, right? Yeah. It's fine drink. Yeah. And that Paloma I had was phenomenal, and they soaked theirs in jalapenos before putting it in the Paloma. Oh, really? Which made it amazing. That is great. I'm telling I can you. almost guarantee you I will be soaking tequila in jalapenos this weekend because you mentioned that. <laughs> I'm glad. I think you will I think you will enjoy it because it makes mixed drinks that much better and it makes shots that much more fun. Yeah, and I know like Italian Joe's a huge spicy fan, so him and I'll just throw it down. I like where this is going. As he's whittling his boats. <laughs> 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 We're at an hour thirty five. What? Should we just call this? Whatever. Do what you do. I could call it. I do want to give a shout out to Screen Door Mortgage. Again. 
Yeah. They make a process that's already a little difficult, very easy for you. Reach out to Screen Door Mortgage. ScreenDoorMortgage.com, very easy to remember. You don't need a coupon code, but do tell them that you, you heard about them on Inside the Pallet House. They will take care of your mortgage. They will make life easier. If you need sunglasses, you can over Nectar Sunglasses. Drop Abacus in the coupon code. You'll get 20% off of already reasonably priced sunglass. You'll look cool, too, in the process. Thank you guys for coming in tonight. I appreciate it. With Troy hey, on let's the do road. it more often. Yeah, yeah, I would like that. I think everybody would. You know, with Troy on the road, it's been a little tough. So I'm glad you guys made it. Hopefully Troy will be back soon. And uh, if you haven't had a chance to uh, reach out to us, you can do so at InsideThePalletHouse at gmail.com. And you can find us on all the socials. Uh, easiest is probably Facebook. Probably the most responsive there. It's Inside the Pallet House podcast. I think that's just about everything I need to plug. There's a Venmo account. At Inside the Pallet House, I believe. I think that's right. Thanks to the Scandals guys for the invite. This is coming from the Duke. For sure. Yeah, it was a good time. We hope to be back there next year. Yes, sir. With a jet boat and a tent. (laughs) Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll be talking to you next week. Cheers. That was a pretty good podcast, don't you think? I do. 